Hey everyone, welcome to Sayuna with Pleiadian Soul Messages. Hi, today I have a short message for you that I want to share that seemed to be very urgent. First of all, beautiful passion flower and it has been raining and the whole of the nature is so happy with all of these beautiful, beautiful freshness. And so, all right, the message for today is that in the outside world, seems, things can seem to be going out of hand or might feel threatening for you or you might feel to detach from your body and your daily life you do not want to be present you are indulging or engaging in things like being busy in games or on the internet or doing unhealthy things for you to numb yourself down because especially the youth, but basically all of humanity, their minds are very much attacked. Because of course, if all are pushed into their homes, they are going to be on the internet. And on the internet is the 5G and it's just one big hypnos hypnosis. And also, by turning your body so acid acidic and depleting your body of your own... Um, nutrients and electrolytes and instead replacing them with all those uh, chlorides, fluorides, um, heavy metals, then uh, yeah, the, to create as lowest uh, vibrational environment as possible so it is easier to possess, to take possession and if you are not there present within your body right now then something else will be present. So with your soul, with all of you that you are, and if you have not done any healing work on yourself and still feel it's very difficult to have your soul or attention within your body, then I would really advise to do some work uh, or request um, a very good healer that can help you with it and also detox your body. Get rid of all those toxins, get rid of all the nonsense in your head, but in your body and be in your heart. Because when you go into your heart, you automatically and spontaneously and intuitively feel, without the mind, you will know. You will know everything what is needed to know at the moment. Sometimes you don't have answers, but that's the mind wanting answers. And if you don't understand something, then no, it is not the moment for you to understand it yet. And it will come in a beautiful process like a, a seed and a flower is unfolding. It is like the billions of petals within your heart are unfolding one by one to discover your truest treasure. Well, that, the greatest treasure that is within you is worth <laughs> to be with, with your full attention and see the unfolding of each petal with being so much in awe because it's such a magnificent process and that is all that you are and it is endless and eternal and that is who you are so try to start or not try just go for it discover who you are you are the treasure you are the i am presence you are the greatest power beyond the universe do you really think something has the power over you and not even your body? Give your body and your mind to your inner being presence. Melt as one with your inner being. Be it. Be in the isness. Be in the moment. Be in the now. Pull all your attention back within. Listen to the birds, watch flowers, the natural things. If you need to, your mind to have some place to be, what I found very helpful is watch nature. And then if it's uh, dark or cold outside, then watch nature on your, um, on your phone or on your 
photos or wherever you have anything from the nature. Draw nature. Go make a painting. Fantasize nature. But make the highest imaginations possible beyond the universe. If you can, think about something where there doesn't exist any conflict between the light and dark, because you must rise beyond it. The love is something different. And the light and dark can melt as one, because the, the, the dark is dissolving right now in the light. And that is exactly what you're seeing outside of you in the world. It is the darkness dissolving in the light because it cannot be hidden anymore and it knows it is not rising up. As long as it is surfing, the anti cry, I mean the anti particles or the, those uh, satanic serpent like uh, inventors or creatures or whatever you want to call it, invaders, infiltrators, it doesn't matter, everything that is not authentic divine creation created by authentic divine blueprint and design and not all of the genetic manipulation done and maybe permitted for some time for uh, billions of years but the authentic presence that you are is always within you and has never been corrupted and has never been manipulated because that's impossible basically it's your mind that is being possessed mostly and controlled at the moment but if you give the mind to the heart uh, then the mind will start to listen it is a process so every time it is because it's been used to go outside and that's the only thing you need to do. It's like training a muscle. Bring it back inside. Like a little child. Bring it back inside the heart. There it's safe. And it will start to listen to what comes from the heart. To become pure again. And bring your body in your heart. So your body will move and only listen to your heart. To your inner I am present. And do automatically only what is in alignment. And in perfect harmony with your I am presence. With the truth harmony and there is something beyond the light and dark games i know it could be interesting and to find out and all of those things and i'm not you see i cannot talk so then it's not um, harmonious to speak about it it is not supported at the moment and then it then the voice stops and that is a beautiful thing that means that my voice my body uh, my beingness is only responding to what is coming spontaneously from within the heart and what is in this moment beneficial and harmonious and so then each one of you will start to move within the harmony and respond and create co-create the harmony together with the fine source creator which is only one beyond this universe and universe and never ever could a human being have granted control over you only then by your own consent so you do not need to give your consent unless you want and choose to and it is important that you understand this that you choose completely consciously and then also understand you have the power to constantly transmute back into the love light everything that you do not consciously consent to but that came from the mind from a fear-based 3d timeline or from something else that is present because you have not been present from something else that wants to control and possess your body, your even your blood, your metabolism, everything. Do you think it's for nothing that all your authentic electrolytes are being replaced by heavy metals and fluorides, chlorides, bromides? No, it isn't. It is 
making it is changing the body by itself into something that is not natural and not sustainable because that other thing can only destruct this is why the bodies are not living eternally anymore or as long as you choose to and they are declining is because of those anti-particles because divinely your body could live as long as you choose to stay in the form at least thousands of years and you have the capability to, to rejuvenate yourself but most of the things that you have thought and believed even if you are already at a high level of understanding are lies mostly they are lies so your inner heart your i am presence that is where you can find the truth and every time when anything happens or any thought or any feeling or anything outside in the world comes up and ask yourself is it truth and then also when you feel tired when you feel that you are in the hypnosis uh, in the hypnosis from the internet or the 5g or all of those um, gases that are being released from the skies and the water and everywhere the foods um, then i'll say you say with your full consent and consciousness i do not give my consent to any thought form or any feeling and anything that is coming from me or to me that is not coming from the highest of the love and divine truth so everything that is fear-based and from the lower frequency and any anything that is a lie or from the falsity manipulative serpent-like uh, vibration or artificial intelligence and machinery uh, then you say I do not give my consent to and transmute it into the highest of love well you can say this several times at night or in the daytime whenever you're awake and aware that something is disturbing you because it is not normal to be in your mind <laughs> this is not the place you need to be or want to be the mind is a tool it's not your place of presence your place of presence is in the heart and also in the warm space for the woman the women need to be in the warm space within that is your presence and that's why all the rape and abuse has been done as well because it is your presence your power point your power place you need to take back your residence over your creative sexual energy force which is a great force and then when you are back into your warm space in your sacred sexual warm space which is your force then your inner masculine can also be invited back and you have your inner sacred marriage because your inner masculine his place of residence is within the timeless the timeless gland and the heart the highest the higher heart within the heart space between the throat and the heart that is the residence of your divine masculine and it is so important that both of you are present within your divine power point and place and then merge as one in the heart of your I am presence. Because you have seen what goes wrong when the masculine stays in his sexual energy center without the feminine. And you see what happens when the feminine is in her heart center without the masculine. Both will feel powerless. It's time to empower yourself first within and then each other and to work together and to give your consent only to what you fully consciously choose, which is always respected and divinely in order. But know you have the power and all the power every moment, every time again. Transmute back into the love, into the highest of divine light, into the truth. And you do not have to carry any more toxic and any more mass and negativity within your bodily system, which is your divine temple from your spirit. And your spirit is the divine temple of your I am presence. So cleanse, detoxify, concentrate, be present within, ask for help all the time to cleanse, to have the knowledge, to have the wisdom. Let the knowledge change into wisdom and work with nature. 
even when it's only from your window, might it be go so far. It doesn't matter. Ask the help. Think about the movie Avatar. You can ask the help of nature because you are always interconnected with the nature through invisible systems and root systems. The energy is with you. The energy is with the ones who are within the heart, working with the divine in harmony and not against. Let the old fall away and allow it to fall away and move your attention away from that. What has been, because basically it's an old timeline, it's not even there anymore. You will notice as soon as you are switching in the fifth dimensional frequency and energy, you will see it's not there, it's not true, it's not real, it's illusion. And it doesn't exist. So if it doesn't exist, it cannot be real. It is a nightmare. It is a dream that is a nightmare. And yes, you can also have a nice dream, but dream is dream and you need to wake up and let go of the detachment, every detachment. So your good and your bad memories and attachment that you had onto the earth and the things you were doing before. Now is a new time. It's a now is new rules. And this is a transition time which take all of your energy and all of your attention. So play well and support each other. Don't support those billionaire uh, companies who are only serving themselves and seeking to destroy and control that what is divinely uh, beautiful existing and returning back to the divine bodily systems or the divine energy field resonance like a song, your soul song. Like the song of the divine. Yes, always those beautiful singing birds and the flowers and the trees and the plants and the sunlight help you cleanse your water before you drink it if you can. And you can also do it with your own focal cords and with your heart and with your chi. So... Release, relax, throw off all of the boundaries of the past and rejoice. Dance a little bit. Breathe in oxygen. It's still, there is still oxygen and ozone. Listen to the birds. Change your frequency. Then you're out of the nightmare and into your heart. And you know it's already here. And even then you can let go and let it happen. Because there is a higher plan. There is a higher plan beyond what you're seeing right now. And let go of the seeing, even with your physical eyes, with your five senses, with your pineal gland, with your whatever. Let go, because your real, true inner self can see with a billion eyes. And those are the petals unfolding now. So enjoy this process. And this was a passionate transmission, I realize it, but that's how it goes. Hmm. So, that was my message for you. I leave you with these words and I hope they are lifting you up and help to guide you back within your true self, away from the nightmare. I'm talking to you as a child who just woke up from a nightmare that was seeming so real, more real than whatever it sees around it. So, it needs a little bit time to wake up from it. From that nightmare and to process it a little bit and then let go of and go in your day all right send you so much love you're always loved all of those thoughts are not important at the moment what is important is what what is truly within you within the core of your being in your heart and everything that feels fearful, scary, threatening, draining your energy or whatsoever, let go. Also let go of whatever needs to be done or what is present within your body, what you're thinking. Because only the divine, only the inner truth knows what is good and what is necessary to happen and it will happen your body will do the things 
including daily tasks to keep your house and your body clean and healthy and and n nurture what needs to be done. You can even go to your work if you need to do it. Although some work will not be supported anymore. And although maybe you won't do the shoppings and don't buy the food anymore from places or from with ingredients or substances that are not supporting your higher vibrational field. That's all right. Let go. Don't question. Just know you're moving in the harmony. And your mind can never ever comprehend. So just let it melt into your heart. And become one within. And so much love. I'm here for support whenever you need, so reach out, even when I'm not much online. Thank you. Send you much love. Bye-bye.